why are these two hoses collapsing like that? Turns out this is actually a required step when the factory fills the coolant system. Today, we're gonna show you how it's done at the factory. First, the coolant reservoir gets mounted in place. This updated version looks a bit different from the old one. New design, new shape. They spray on a little lubricant to help with assembly. The bottom hose goes on first. Then they connect a fuel line nearby, plug in the harness, and secure the tank. Finally, they attach the small return hose and that wraps up the installation. Now comes the coolant fill. The factory uses a multi-fencher system from a German company called Steriline. It handles everything, measuring, controlling, and logging the exact amount of coolant added to each vehicle. The data gets sent straight to the central control system. And yeah, they also fill up the windshield washer tank while they're at it. The key part is this. It's all done under vacuum. The machine first pulls all the air out of the coolant lines. That's what was happening at the start of the video, the air getting sucked out. Once it hits the right vacuum level, coolant starts flowing in. You can see the hoses slowly expand again, which means the system's filling properly. Once it's full, the operator disconnects the equipment and tightens the cap. And here's the question, do you think vacuum filling is really necessary when adding coolant? 